Hello again. Let's read our Bible verse for today. It's found in the book of Matthew, chapter 10, and verses 29 to 31. What is the price of two sparrows, one copper coin? But not a single sparrow can fall to the ground without your father knowing it. And the very hairs on your head are all numbered. So don't be afraid. You are more valuable to God than a whole flock of sparrows. God created the beautiful land animals and the sea animals. He loves the little sparrows, and He loves all of His creation. Now, do you have a pet at your house? Well, we had sea turtles at our house for a little while. Each of my daughters had one, and they lived in a tank in our house. It was fun to watch them swim and dive, and wow, did they ever grow quickly. <laughs> now, sea turtles are amazing creatures. Take their legs, for example. They're more like fins than legs. Sea turtles, unlike tortoises, which live on the land, live mostly in the water. They aren't like fish, though. They cannot breathe underwater. They have to come up out of the water to breathe. So God designed their bodies to work just right for them. Their legs make them very good swimmers, but they also work for walking on the beach. Now, sea turtles are cold-blooded. This means that they need outside heat to warm their bodies. So God designed their bodies perfectly for this, too. Sea turtles are able to easily swim up onto rocks. On the rocks, they sit and warm themselves in the sun. God uses the sun to care for the little sea turtles. Now God also uses the moon to care for the sea turtles. Do you want to know how? Well, female sea turtles make their nests of eggs on the beach. Often the sea turtles will return to the very beach that they were born on. God has given them almost an internal compass. The female turtles make their nests at night. At night they swim up to the beach and the moonlight guides them up onto the sand. With the moon shining brightly, they make their way across the sand and make a nest for their eggs. Much later, almost two months later, the eggs hatch and the new, tiny little turtles emerge. Again, the moon helps them. They follow the moonlight and find their way across the sand and down into the ocean. Now, God cares so much for the small creatures of this earth. He uses the sun and the moon to care for the sea turtles. Just think about how much He cares for you, His child, and make it a wonderful new day, a new day with Jesus.